Welcome to VBAR 101. I'm Frederick Mellon, aka Mr. Mel. Today I'm going to go over the Nitro version of the Governor and how to set that up. First of all, when you start a new 5.1 program, your screen going to look like this. You might get a big grey box down here saying your setup is not converted. You need to press here and then you should, of course, press that first. Uh, it will set the base settings uh, if there is something that needs converting. Then we jump into the setup screen and please note this warning, do never ever have a, a hot setup, meaning either uh, nit on nitro motor running or uh, in electrics the speed controller connected and powered. First of all uh, we need to look at channels. Uh, for this type of nitro setup I'm gonna show you today, uh, it's n uh, two channels are used and they are used like in this diagram saying one channel is throttle curves uh, and the other one is a control channel where half of the channel is just an on off switch saying if the lower half is active then the curves are active in the governor the other half the 50% on the upper side corresponds to a certain head speed. So if you go low, everything is off, curves is active, go high, it's a fixed head speed. So we need to choose two of those channels that we are going to set up. Uh, throttle are gonna use number three. Uh, and this depends on which uh, receiver I'm using, a Futaba S-Bus here. And if you are using a standard setup, meaning a regular receiver, patch cables in between, then you cannot use this two-channel mode because you only have one channel going from the receiver to the V-bar. That's a different setup. It's closer looking uh, what you have in an electric, basically. But I'm gonna cover that in a later episode. So this is for Futaba S-Bus, Spectrum, or if you have Jetai, Yeti. Um, that type of receiver where you have all this channel going through a single cable. So for this particular setup I'm using number three, the throttle, and number seven for uh, auxiliary uh, setting, meaning governor setting. So if you look at, at the calibration screen here I get, um, let's see here, throttle moving and then when I flip my switches here the other uh, aux channel is also moving. I go over to transmitter, here I can calibrate the throttle and it's minus 100 and it's plus 100 and you use ATV in or endpoints in the radio to calibrate that, make sure you have a 0 to 100 curve while doing so. Then we go over to governor 1 page, default is the govern mode is disabled, we're gonna choose nitro for this session uh, you have electric, you have banked, and that's really expert. And w we will cover that in another episode as well, uh, because you need to know what you're doing when you're using the expert, basically. But the nitro is close to setting up uh, what you're used to with another uh, out, uh, external governor. Press reset after you've done your selection. It will reset the V-bar to the correct base settings. Now for throttle input channel then I should choose my number three as we uh, I said before I on the receiver settings. I can now double verify that it's 100 to 100. Then for the preset channel I'm using channel 7 uh, and I should also verify that that's working correctly. What I have done in my radio I using the governor function for my uh, aux channel so actually throttle hold is is governor zero and if i idle up two is 100 percent 97 90. so i have different uh, rates here and you can see the the percentage change please note we are not there yet to to discuss which head speed that comes to it's gonna show in screen number two Output socket for the servo. For a nitro you can use either this uh, that I'm using right now. Uh, it's above the sensor port for the sensor which I have here. 
Uh, this is my representation of a throttle servo. You can use channel 4 or the ESC collective port here. Why they have all these different ones? It's because if I'm running an electric, I cannot put power into this port. Then I must use some of those. And then I, if I'm running a, a standard receiver with all these patch cables, well, that's then that one is used. So then I have to use channel four. So that's why it's a little bit confusing with several options. But for, for Nitro, you can use the servo out port uh, that I'm using over here. And then you select that one. Uh, that concludes the basic setup, the first step uh, to make sure you have all the control that you need and uh, in the next step we're gonna go through and see how that corresponds to certain head speeds. So now we're switching over to Governor 2 page. No, now, <clears throat> first of all, this is the with this first one, you're transferring control. So when I press this on button here, it's actually the collective, not the throttle, not the governor, nothing. It's just for setting the endpoints on my servo. So when I press on here, the collective stick and the collective channel will control the servo so we can set the endpoints correctly. So we press on and OK. Now, I have full control over the servo uh, via the collective stick and now I should set my endpoints to motor off and full throttle just as, as you set up a, a regular nitro where you get make sure the throttle is closed and open. So use that and if you need to adjust then just drag this and I, you can see the servo is moving accordingly and if on the low side it's the same thing. Uh, and also if you need use the throttle reserve, re reverse because you ha you got to have this correct because it's part of the failsafe system so if um, something happens then the governor needs to know that motor off is really motor off when you're done with this part you can uncheck that one again off and now the the base control loop is activated again meaning throttle is really throttle and uh, then we go to gear settings. First of all, we can set the max head speed. Now it comes in this percentage with the governor. Remember I said uh, basically we have from, if the full range is from minus 100 to plus 100, then minus 100 to zero is stick control. Meaning uh, when you are in that range on the, on the governor, then your uh, throttle curves are, is, are active. When you are from 0 to plus 100, then the governor is active. And then it corresponds to this head speed. 100% plus 100% is always what I type in here. So if I type in 2200, my maximum head speed 100% on the governor will be uh, 2200 or close by, as, as close as you can get with the resolution it has. So 2190 is the what I get. Then if I flip this switch, so I go down on 97% on my governor, that will translate to 2058. Uh, in the same way, if I flip one more, it's 1771. So that's how you can tweak so you get the correct head speed for your setup. Then I can change in the radio uh, on the field if I need more or, or less. But this is the maximum. You need to set the gear ratio uh, for the helicopter, whatever it is. If you're using like two magnets on, on the helicopter, you might need to tweak the gear ratio, uh, meaning uh, you have to divide by, by two or uh, whatever ratio you have if you have more than one magnet. Auto rotation bailout mode is uh, that you when you flip out of idle up if the governor has been turned off down to stick mode but above 10 percent then auto rotation bailout mode is active if it's below 10 percent and the last 10 percent um, it's a total slow start. 
Now I should say that with nitros it's not that critical with auto rotation bailout because you can turn up the run up ramp up speed for for uh, for the governor so high because when you start normally you start with a stick anyway and then spool it up and flip to uh, activate governor and then you fly and you throttle hold and then you when you flip out it's you can that ramp up speed is is much easier to have high on a nitro however on electric or if you're running with a single channel then it's a little bit different so we'll cover that later now uh, we have a couple of status here we can have bailout armed fail safe active ramp limit uh, low limit all these are explained on the uh, vstabi.info webpage I'm gonna mention one thing here and that's the magnet um, that is we can test this by putting a magnet you see it lights up and then I so basically you should turn your clutch or whatever uh, clutch bell or whatever where the magnet is mounted and make sure when it's in front of the sensor the the LED there should light up so you know that the sensor is working. If you have trouble uh, calculating the uh, gear ratio, there is a calculator for you on the uh, second on the expert page, so you can uh, get help with that one. It also supports two stage if you have that, so you uh, get the correct ratio for your helicopter. So that finish the the governor setup as far as configuration now we have access to this page where you have the basic setting and you have the expert setting to go over the standard hookup uh, I have here uh, a receiver and shame on me for having this as a test receiver but well anyway um, you have to run the, the, the thing is now we actually have only one channel to control everything so you have to run the throttle from the receiver to the aux in the v-bar and that will control everything in in uh, the transmitter i need to validate that i have the aux channel full range tied to my throttle channel so if i have a zero to hundred curve in my radio i get should get uh, zero to plus hundred in my uh, Transmit is 99 there is okay. So what what um, uh, what happens now is when I go over to the governor page, I only have one single input, and that's uh, the aux input channel which I'm using here. That's the only option I have. What happens now is half of the stick is stick control. So this is stick control, always. You can set your idle, you can set your uh, motor off and everything below half stick. Everything above half stick is governed. Meaning if I, uh, my, my normal curve should look like this, meaning uh, 0, 25, 50, but never go over 50 basically, or at least have a flat uh, line on fifth then when I my idle up that's a different story then I can go up basically to throttle 100 and that will take you can see here the servo is slowly moving up from uh, from uh, the spool up so uh, then it takes me to governed uh, mode and then the all the other um, rules apply which I showed earlier in this episode so that's how you run the control of the governor via one single cable which is the only option you have when you have a separate receiver I just gonna point out also it's important that you disable bank switching in the main screen before you run this setup because else that channel is also used for bank switching which I will cover in the expert mode but if you're gonna run this in the simplest uh, mode then you have to disable bank switching or you need to actually enable bank switching but then you need to have the correct bank switching is uh, governed bank switching has actually one type of governor in each bank so you can uh, make it very powerful but keep in mind the simplest version disable bank switching in the main screen and then you use the auxiliary channel for for the head speed only